Okay, let's get right to it. Most buyers and sellers not aware of just how fast the market's changed. Well, I think that just about explains how fast. The reason? You guessed it, the near historic pace in the rise of interest rates. Mortgage rates have not been this volatile since 1987. I think that was the euros born. Anyway, when rates hit, imagine this, 19%. Deja vu? Yep. The Fed raised rates then to curb inflation, just like they're doing today. The impact on home sales? Over the last two months, the last two months, it resulted in the steepest decline in history, falling 19.5%. That's even worse than during the height of the pandemic. Imagine that. And projection are for the mortgage rates, actually, to rise to 9%. Okay, I get it. No one wants to hear bad news. I certainly don't. Yet, my responsibility as a broker is to explain the market, whether it's good or bad. So let's look at the market, because it's better than most believe, really. So, take your bricks back. That's because most perceptions of the market are incorrect. Consider that the adage that everyone wants to do, buy low and sell high, is mathematically not possible for most. Why? Because by definition, a high is when there are more buyers than there are sellers. Everyone on the planet knew this was the case the last two years. Yet, that's when buyers were buying and they were buying at a high, not, not just a high, a historic high. And by definition, by definition, a low is when buyers aren't buying. So it's a paradox. The riddle is also true for sellers. Most end up chasing the market and they chase it down. And that's exactly what most are doing today with their stocks. Everybody knew, they all knew the Fed was going to do everything they could to possibly slow the economy. Yet, most didn't sell, even with the market at an historic high. That's why I love trends. They tell a better story. So, let's look at the market today. This first graph shows where home prices were a few months ago. Historic high, obviously the best time to be a seller. Mm, not so much for buyers. Though. And here's where we are today just a slight downturn after the historic peak. Excellent time to be a seller. Why? Because you have proof the market peaked. And as the market softens, it's a better time to be a buyer too. This graph shows the upward trend over 50 years. Pretty impressive. Now this graph overlays the mortgage rates. This clearly shows why interest rates are affecting the buyer activity so dramatically. This last graph shows why this is a good time to be a buyer for these reasons. Okay. First, the Fed raised rates to curb inflation, and once done, then rates will come back down, and the housing market will quickly recover. That's the dotted line you see. So buying today will position you well for the future. Secondly, rates are still reasonable. Imagine that. Also consider that with a 6% interest rate, your effective rate, the effective rate, is really just 4%. Why? That's because you'll write off about 33% on your taxes. And rates are going to go higher. Like I said, they're going to go higher. So better to buy now than later. Since high interest rates are a short-term issue, just refinance when the rates come down. Importantly, even if you assume that home prices don't decline, the sales price will be less. How's that possible? How is that possible? It's because a home listed months ago for $600,000 didn't sell for $600,000. It sold for $625,000 or more. Why? Due to multiple offers. Today, with the same list price, it's most likely to sell for around $585,000, which would be very reasonable. Yet, that's a real savings, a real savings of $40,000. That will more than offset the interest until you refinance. Most importantly, with more selection, 
you'll be able to find the right home. I'll leave you all with this question, okay? As a buyer, if you're a buyer, are you better off today or during the previous administration? I, I mean, I mean during the previous two years, okay? So something to consider. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and follow Roller Realty on Facebook and Instagram.